I just I just remembered. I was so the other day I was looking up the Iavan Polka by Hatsune Miku, right? That song is not copyrighted. But for some reason some asshole like uh, made a song with uh, like those like literally just a rap song over Ivan Polka copyrighted it and now every song ev every video on YouTube that has that Polka song by Miku is like uh, claimed by that dude so that dude is making like an entire pile of money out of the fact that Ivan Polka is very famous and I hate it okay yeah I'm gonna just mute it I'm not gonna play it so yeah, let's see, Ivan Polka by Hatsune Miku. It's claimed by something called Sports Day Everyday Move by BC Signal. And I'm like, wait, who? Is that, is that the people that made Ivan Polka? Sports Day? Nothing of it like sounds like, uh, like related to Miku. But if you look it up, like, uh, yeah, uh, sports, what is it, day, everybody move, and, and like, yeah, like, you go to the video, <laughs> and like, it's literally just Ivan Polka with rap over it, like, uh, j just like some dude, like, talking over it, uh, yes, it's muted, and, uh, yeah, the, all the comments are like, wow, <laughs> Imagine taking a song, putting it in your song, rapping over it, then copywriting every video with the original song in it. Yeah. Welcome to YouTube. This is so, so enraging. Like, holy shit. Copyright system needs to be changed. Yeah, it totally does. Wouldn't Miku's company complain if someone copyrighted a song with her voice line? That's the thing. If that were the case, that would have already happened. Because this song is not new, this is from 2014, while Yevan Polka is from like 2011, I think. So yeah, that's the problem. So it's not like uh, he cannot claim like, oh, I made the song. The song was here first. And like, no, this is like two years or three years uh, after. <laughs> it's like copywriting a song that's free use. Exactly, and it has happened. Like people, people use like uh, royalty-free music that they download in like uh, royalty-free sites. They copyright it, and now people that use that royalty-free music are like uh, gonna be claimed by that thing. And like normally, in that case, you can like claim that uh, uh, you can dispute it and stuff. But in this case, it's a little more complicated. It's like wait, if people are doing this, like why? Um, why can I not do this? If everyone's like playing that game, how about I'll play that game too? Well, the thing is, this is illegal. So like, it, it it's like, yeah, could I get in trouble? Yes, but also can they? But also they don't get in trouble. But also, <laughs> ah! <laughs> YouTube servile system just assumes that even Polka is the same as this. Yes, and again, this has happened to me with you, like uh, Undertale music, like. I post uh, a, a, a video with Undertale music in it, and then it's like, this is copyrighted by this person. I'm like, wait. And I look up, and yeah, it's indeed like some like uh, shitty rap over the the soundtrack of Undertale. Like, not even a cover or anything. It's just, they just grab the soundtrack, they put it over there, and be like, yeah, this is my song. And I'm like, bitch. <laughs> Yevan Polka is a 700s folk song. Yes! <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Though I understand, like, let's say the Yevan Polka Hatsune Miku version could be uh, arguably copyrighted by whoever made it because they're the ones who made that exact version. The same happens with, like, um, like classical music, opera, and all that stuff. Um, like uh, if uh, I know Pavarotti sang like uh, the um, I don't know the Pagliasso song, like, that specific version is gonna belong to Pavarotti, I think. But like anyone else that does a cover of that song should not be like uh, copyrighted by Pavarotti because it's a different uh, version. The same here, Yevan Polka can have like thousands and thousands of versions, and not because of that, all of those versions are gonna be copyrighted. But this dude, this absolute asshole of a dude. Of a dude. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of surprised people who do covers can get away with copywriting a song that's not even the exactly supposedly supposedly that's um, illegal. You should not be able to do that. 
but for some reason they don't get into trouble. Ah, this is from 2014. It's been like uh, seven years. Like what the hell? And nobody can do anything about it. <laughs> ah.